Hey guys, this is Soren Productions, aka okay, and on the full 603, and I am back in Natural Beyond Nature Part 2. Um, I was planning to make this a webcam video, but changed my mind. Because <laughs> I look kinda shitty. And the webcam I use is kinda shitty. And for some reason my computer doesn't want to work it very well right now. So right now I'm just focusing on the sound quality being close to decent. <laughs> a little late um well not that late it's about 10 o'clock but um i just realized that i was reading a book and completely forgot that i was supposed to record a video right now because i'm trying to keep a schedule for once um <laughs> and i am feeling slightly below the weather i think i'm catching some sort of cold and my throat is a little funny so i apologize it's also why i'm sipping tea and um yeah so, we're just gonna continue this, and let's go! I've forgotten all the voices. God damn it! Hello! Uh, howdy! Bonjour! Um, are you there? D don't tell me you hit your head somewhere! She bends forward and gently wraps my forehead. It quickly snaps me back to reality. Uh, I I'm fine. Are you sure? You look a little dazed. Should I get you a doctor? N no I'm fine, really. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. She sounds so unsure of herself. <laughs> Maybe that's not the best voice. Oh well. Despite my reassurance, she still looks concerned. Tea for my sore throat. I try my hardest to appear as composed as possible. But of course, my stomach just had to growl at the most inopportune time. Oh, are you hungry? I... I haven't had my breakfast. I can feel blood rushing to my cheeks as I try to hide my embarrassment. Perfect! Let me fix you something! It's alright, you don't have to. Don't worry, I have confidence in my cooking. Please accept it as my apology. How could I refuse when she wears such a wild smile on her face? She's pretty cute, I'll give her that. A little too pink for my taste, but you know she's pretty cute. <laughs> Ziva does make adorably cute girls, though. I don't know. Are we a girl or a boy? Like, for some reason, I'm getting the feeling we're a girl. I kind of... Hmm. Whatever. I decide to humbly accept her offer. Thank you. Great! Give me a few minutes. Maybe we're gender neutral. Who knows? Like, maybe this is some Undertale shit where we, like, never get to know. Uh, you can have a seat in the meantime. I wonder if she works in this inn. I sit at the nearest sofa as I continue to ponder. That girl. I do not think I've met her before. So, why did I react so strongly towards her? I do not understand. Hey! Oh, it was her. Huh? I forgot to ask. Do you like rice? Yes. Great! Rice is the best. I was worried if you preferred noodles. I can, can't eat them because they look like worms. <laughs> she looks so sad. You can feel that slimy sensation, sensation creeping in your mouth. Scary, no? It's like my dad, he hates pasta. I'm like, but it's pasta, dad. You can't hate it. And he's like, it feels like, like he says like it feels like worms. <laughs> like earthworms or something in his mouth. I don't know, I love pasta. I actually like ugh, I'm I made pasta from Italy um, like I was in Italy I um, some of my relatives have a vacation home in Italy uh, in the mountains and like we went to this uh, restaurant where they taught us how to cook and they taught us how to make like real pasta from dough through like those pasta machines and it was like it was so good like holy okay I am going off on tangent right now <laughs> didn't mean to ramble about pasta <laughs> To be honest, I enjoy noodles just as much as rice. Same, same. Rice is pretty good though. I like, uh, what's that shit? Jasmine rice the most? Like the whole white thing? I like my, my mom is so uh, um, insistent on buying brown rice. And I'm like, no. Yeah, okay, I'm rambling again. Wow. However, her description of them leaves a lot to be desired. It 
It's making me lose my appetite. Uh, all right, I'll I'll be back soon. I am, her voice is just going everywhere. <laughs> Oblivious to my concern, she leaves the room once more. I cannot help but worry. Is she going to be all right? A few minutes later. That's a quick meal. That looks... Okay. I'm trying to see if the yellow spots... I hope they're not, um... Oh, I can't remember what that is. Corn? Yeah, corn. I hope that's not corn. I really, really, really hate corn. <laughs> At least, like, I don't mind it on the... On the cones. Oh, man. I don't know if corn is the right word for it. God damn it. Anyways, I don't like the ones you get in... In, um... In jars. It's gross. Ta-da! How do you like it? That was. This is just turning into a food conversation video, isn't it? <laughs> Let's talk about wh what kind of food we like. Do you guys like pasta? Do you li guys like uh, your white or brown rice? What's up? Let me know. <laughs> oh, I'm too tired. I can feel it already. <laughs> I'm too tired to record. That was quick. Well, it's a really simple dish. Flurry's special green tea over rice. Yeah, I should definitely not trust that. Give it a try. Flurry? Oh, that's me. I'm Flurry. Oh, I realize I've yet to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Aaliyah. Yeah, I know. Uh, part? How do you know me? By chance, have we met before? Oh, <laughs> no. I believe this is our first meeting. Then how did you... Well... I saw your name in the guest log. To be exact, you're the only one listed there. Really? We don't get that many visitors to this island. I call bullshit. She's some sort of like supernatural being and that's why she knows our uh, name. I'm calling it. <laughs> this inn is practically a ghost house. You're our first visitor in a very long while. I see. No wonder it feels like uh, a little barren for such a nice inn. You don't say. That's why I got a little too excited when I heard we had a guest. Oh, that's why you bumped into me just now. She lets out a soft giggle. Sorry, it's a bad habit of mine. I get carried away easily. People often say I look like I have boundless energy. That is a sentiment I wholeheartedly agree with. <laughs> She's been showering me with plenty of smiles since we met. Anyway, anyway, you better dig in. It's best to eat while it's still warm. Oh, you're right. Thank you very much. I shall help myself then. The hot vapor words from the green tea emits a tender yet refreshing aroma. It effortlessly invites me to take a bite. At first glance, the dish looks deceptively simple, but it's surprisingly full of flavor. Before I know it, I've already finished the entire bowl in the blink of an eye. Do you want seconds? I nod enthusiastically. Coming! Oh, more food! Here you go! Thank you. It's my pleasure. This is really good. Isn't it? She sounds extra pleased by my pl By my place! The applause! By my praise. I added some honey in the green tea for extra flavor. It's also good on an empty stomach, especially in the morning. I see. How thoughtful of you. Had to make a great, great wife material, though. By uh, judging by her tone, I can tell that she's being playful. Not that it stops me from secretly agreeing. It's just like her cooking. There's really something healing about it that makes me feel right at home. I've not felt this kind of ordinary joy in a long time. In the end, I happily wolfed down a grand total of three bowls of rice. Nice. I make pretty good rice too, actually. I just I, I don't have any sauce on it, but I'm good at making plain rice and make it taste nice, even though it's plain rice. <laughs> Feeling satisfied, I decide to take a walk outside the inn. The music is really nice. I'm gonna give this. The music is really pleasant, and the, the writing is like I'm just gonna I'm gonna comment like uh, while <laughs> playing. She's really improved her writing, like. It, you can't see it like, I'm pretty sure Siva isn't, yeah, she isn't uh, a native um, English speaker, I'm not either. Um, but it's so nice to see how like she's using more um, 
advanced language than before and just I, I really like like the writing is, is so nice it's very um it uses like uh, a more more advanced words while still like being very flowing um I haven't seen that much of the dialogue yet, so I can't be sure, but like, the writing itself is really nice. Yeah. Phew. I haven't eaten this much in quite a while. Where are you going, Aaliyah? Oh, I don't actually have a plan. This is, after all, an improved... Yeah, that, that, those, the words I can't pronounce, journey. I see. If it's alright with you, I can show you around. Excuse me. Would you? Yep. Then I'll be in your care. I do not usually accept this kind of offer from someone- Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> someone I just met. But for some explicit- explicable- explicable- explicable! Ha! Inexplicable. Oh god, I can't. God damn it. <laughs> Reason I'm unable to see her as a mere stranger. We've definitely met her at some point. Maybe we're like also a god and she's like a god. <laughs> Wow, the theories. <laughs> it helps that it's always a delight to see her jovial smile. It puts me at ease. Hmm. Although I said that, to be honest, there aren't that many places you can visit around here. This is, after all, a rather boring island. Oh, but I have to recommend a place, then... If I have to recommend a place, then there's just one thing you must see. The giant olive tree! There's a giant olive tree here? Yep! My best friend and I often go there. It's a really beautiful tree. I'm sure you'll love it too. What do you think? A giant olive tree, huh? That does sound right up my alley. I would definitely love to see it. However, there is another place I'm interested in. Oh, choice. The place the man from the bus told me about yesterday. Hmm, which place should I visit first? Ah, uh, beach or olive tree? Hmm, I think I want to go to the beach. I want to go see if my theory about the man being uh, Cantus's father. And if we can meet, um... Oh my god, I can't believe I've forgotten her name. Maris? Was that her name? I can't remember. Ah, oh, that's so embarrassing. I can't remember. The sea girl. <laughs> if I found, I found a thing. Actually, there's a place I would like to visit beforehand. Oh? I heard there's a nice beach north from here. I would love to see it. Oh! She suddenly brightens up. That's an excellent place to go. You're so smart, Aaliyah. I'm not exactly sure that makes me smart, but... It's nice to see her look so eager. It makes me think that I have made the right choice. Are you trying to tell me something, game? <laughs> look! It's just right ahead. We'll be there in no time. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Without missing a beat, she cheerfully points towards the sea ahead of us. <clears throat> Sorry, I was just looking. Um, the sea. It's as blue as ever. Wow. It's so beautiful. It's totally worth uh, all the time walking to get here. I clutch my clothes as I try to catch my breath. If there's anything I've learned from this trip, it would be that everything looks that everything that looks close by is actually far away by foot. <laughs> it took us almost a full hour to reach the shore. Wow. This is a big island. Actually, nah, it's not that big of an island, honestly. Like I lived for a long time on an island and then it it took like hours to like cross it up too. Well, like to we tread, we had to like walk this really long road, and that took a long time. Anyway, I'm still glad. Still, I'm glad I have uh, to have come here. I feel like I could just sit here all day, just listening to the fleeting waves, the sound of them hitting the shore, in and out, in and out. It's so mesmerizing, as if my mind tries to take in what is right in front of me. I notice a young boy standing a few meters away from us. I knew it! Huh? This is later, isn't it? He looks older. K Kansas! Kansas! You're all grown up! Oh my! <laughs> Sorry. 
Are you still a little grump? Hmm? He's not talking. He clearly notices our presence, but chooses, chooses not to say a word. That's you! The boy shows his respect by giving her a nod. I always find you here. Some things just never change, huh? Right. I see. He's more aloof than hostile. In a way, he reminds me of myself. Hello. I decide to approach him. I saw you looking at the sand just now. What were you doing? Picking up seashells! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so silly. I'm looking for seashells. When one comes to the sea, one has to do that, right? I take in the boy <laughs> a few se seconds before he answers. I cannot help... Oh, stop being an annoying computer. <laughs> I cannot help but find his honest and straightforward reply very endearing. What kind of seashells can you find here? God, I, f I don't know how, but I fucked up that line. <laughs> it's hard to notice from his apathetic face, but I f seem to have caught his attention. This is what I found just now. Oh, how intriguing. I've never seen anything like it before. Hmm, not bad. To be able to appreciate beautiful things is a virtue. Such a strong pride oozing from him. He really loves seashell, does he not? Aww. Aww. Come on, stop being so cute. Don't be too cute with me. Damn. Candid, you're so cute. <clears throat> Sorry. It's a Give me three seconds. I need to take the tea leaf out of my uh, kettle. Because I never think these things through. That's, that's the thing. I never think them through. So I need to take this tea leaf out of the kettle. There we go. <coughs> Daily adventures with Nana. <laughs> Alright, there we go. What do you call it? Paper cone. Now that you mention it, it does look like a curled up piece of paper. That's right. It also refers to a paper-like weight. Though, nowadays, it reminds me more of a certain someone. <coughs> Sorry. Probably it's long lost sibling. Pardon? Don't mind me. I would have sworn I saw a faint smile on his face. Nope, nope, it was there. It was cute. Sorry. <laughs> uh, on his face for a split second. The person he was thinking about must have been special to him. I steal a glance at Flory. She returns She returns ba uh, me back with a smile. Hey, Flory, would you like to look for seashells together? Sure. That sounds like fun. Let's do it. Let's do it. Again. Repeating. Good damn it. <laughs> The two of us scout, uh, scour the beach, scout the beach, yeah. The white sand makes other brightly colored objects stand out. It does not take long before we stumble upon some seashells. Pick uh, the one that catches my eye the most. Oh, that's beautiful. It looks like a flower. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just gotta sip my tea. My throat is starting to feel funny. I should also check if the recording is still going. It's still going. Hmm? I give its surface a couple of taps. Despite its fragile appearance, it's actually quite sturdy. Wow. It really is a seashell. It looks more like a flower than a seashell. Mm, yeah, I said that. Let's see. What should I call it? It's yellow, so blooming amber? Hey, Flory. Come over here. Hmm? Here you go. I slip the blooming amber between her hair and her ear. Huh? <laughs> it looks just like a flower, doesn't it? I think it suits you well. Her cheeks slowly turn bright red. Thank you. This is the first time I've seen her look so bashful. I'm getting the feeling the main character is a boy. But I'm gonna say it's a lady. <laughs> I apologize. Until other anything else has told me, I will be very, very uncivilized and assume that it is a lady. How adorable. You're welcome. And then we spend the next hour relaxing on the beach. Phew. I haven't had this much fun in a while. Me too. Compared to the city, it's much nicer to be here. You're really from the city, huh? Uh, yes. I figured that was the case. The city, huh? I've never been there before. 
Actually, it's my lifelong dream to go there someday. Really? That caught me by surprise. I loathe the city so much that I cannot imagine anyone want to go there. Why the city? Well, I always found this place boring. There are few people around. It's rather lonely. I see. Maybe it's because I grew up in the city. F uh, I find mingling with people exhausting. Not that I want to be alone. I guess it has to be. Um, it has to be with the right person. Like, I'm sure it wouldn't be half as enjoyable if I wasn't here with you today. And Leah's cranking up the charm. <laughs> I thought so too. Time goes by fast when you're when you're having fun. Before I knew it, it's already way past noon. Shall we go? Sure. All right. Next stop is the olive tree. Several hours later. According to Flory, we need to cross the forest to get to the olive tree. After a rather long walk, we finally reach our destination. By then, the sun is already setting. Oh, that's pretty. Somewhere deep in the forest, there is an open space. Standing in the center is an enormous tree. So massive it dwarfs its surroundings. Over here, Aaliyah! She waves her hand in an attempt to get me com to come closer. Wow. Well, that was me. Wow. It's huge. I have never seen a tree this large before. Isn't it? Oh god, my voice. Oh. This tree has uh, been around for many centuries. It's probably over a thousand years old. People used to come here to pray. It's like a sacred tree. Hmm. I don't know why, but suddenly this reminded me of... Oh, uh, what was that game called? I can't remember. Something Seeds. I can't remember. <laughs> it was another, like, f short flash game that Siva made, and this just reminded me of it somehow. I don't know why. It's a very, very sad game. Um, <laughs> Sacred, huh? It does have that kind of atmosphere. Two of us sit under the tree as I try to catch my breath. <sighs> I think I've had enough walking for a while. I'm sorry. I really wanted to show th you this, no matter what. It's a very special place to me. Give a gentle pat on her shoulder. <laughs> Today has been quite the experience. Thank you for showing me around. Besides, give the tree another glance. Aaliyah? What's wrong? It's nothing. This tree reminds me of a strange dream I had yesterday. Dream? What kind of dream was it? Well, I can't quite explain it. I've always had... I always have weird dreams, but the one I had yesterday was different. <laughs> How interesting! To be honest, I love dreams. I heard they're a manifestation of your subconscious. A reflection of your current mental state. <laughs> really? Yep, I did a lot of research about them. So, why don't you tell me more about your dream? I might be able to interpret what they mean to you. Hmm, how about... A dream, where you're walking in total darkness. And the only thing you can hear is someone calling for your help. You sure have strange dreams, Aaliyah. Is that strange? I feel like that'd be a pretty common dream. Maybe that's just me? Yeah, that, that's pretty common, like... Whatever. I reflectively res respond with a bitter smile. <laughs> it's a reoccurring dream. I've had it since I was really young. It seems to have gotten worse with the age. Hmm. As far as I know, there are many meanings behind darkness in dreams. They may represent fear of the unknown and unexpected problems, or confusion over one's direction and what route, route you should take. They're can also mean a lost connection to nature. Wow, that's eerily accurate. It's kind of scary. <laughs> Dreams are interesting, no? I really love them. They're proof that we're alive. 
Only in death can you no longer dream anymore. That's why I... I want to keep dreaming. The words echo both in the wind and in my mind. It should have been a hopeful statement. Yet, I find it so troubling, unbefitting to her usual outlook. This is no good. Is there anything I can do to lighten the mood? Actually, when I was young, I wanted to grow up and become a giant. That way I could view the entire world in a single glance. <laughs> I was a really boring kid, wasn't I? No. You were so adorable, Leah. But how why do you say that? As if you were there. Hmm. How did you know? Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Oh god. It's a relief to see her radiant smile return once more. It might be my wishful thinking, but I would love to see that smile for as long as possible. That is the wish I secretly pray to under that giant olive tree. I think I found a good place to end the episode, actually. I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoy it. I am enjoying this game so far. B b <laughs> Despite all of the um, confusion with uh, the main character's gender, but it doesn't really matter. Like, that's the thing. I like when... Like, I don't know if Siva's trying to make this, like, a very... um One of those where you just never really get to know, so, like, you can assume what you want or maybe like just a gender neutral like that's very interesting um i did that with my uh visual novel 19 hours and i had so much fun when people wrote to me about it whether they i called the main character alex and i had so much fun seeing whether the um people writing about it uh, assumed it was a boy or a girl it was very interesting anyway um <laughs> i will end the episode here i hope you enjoyed i enjoyed hanging with you guys so yeah and i will see you in whatever i make bye